Greetings, fam, and welcome to another edition of Post Talk, where the conversations can range from politics to your bitch. You see, a lot of shit y'all ain't fucking with, which you should, and that's the truth. So a lot of y'all so used to falsehood that you allow that shit to brainwash you. That's why I say rappers out here, man, need to stop what they're doing, man, because they're the ones that are causing these RICO cases to drop on them. You know, rappers are causing themselves to be jailed. You understand what I'm saying? Because they rap about the shit that they did in their music, which is still open cases in their community. And they fail to realize that the people are listening. That the alphabet boys, the hip-hop police, they are really in tune to music. Because that's what helps them solve murders and homicides. Especially in places like Chicago and Atlanta. These rappers get hit. Look at Casanova. You get what I'm saying? They are not playing. See, they're letting you play yourself. They're allowing you to get success. Hang with the people to connect the dots because they need you in them play with them people and places and things in order to properly convict you. See, if you're not in them places, places and things and shit like that, hanging with people, throwing up the signs and all of those shit, you ain't got to worry about that. But when you're in pictures with big dogs that are already on Gang Task Force 5, and you're supposed to be a rapper, no longer a felon, but you're still hanging with felons, you're still ground guns and drugs, and then you want to say that I'm just a rapper and these dudes are doing what they're doing. The police ain't trying to hear that shit in the end. Because see, at the end of the day, you made a mental decision to go hang out with them people. You made a mental decision to bond such and such out of jail. You get what I'm saying? You made a mental decision to place certain people around you for whether persona reasons or for bravado or whatever it may be. But at the end of the day, you can't be rapping about how you shot a man on Av Street Dumped a gun on Charlotte Street, burned the car in the alley down on North. The police gonna be like, shit, yeah, we did find a gun on Al. Shit, the car. Oh, shit, that was that burned car. Oh, okay, let's go back and check some more of them. We need to make sure they're sure before we go arrest him. The rappers get snatched up. Then you hear about gun charges, assault charges, homicide charges, murder side charges, extortion charges. And the rapper be like, man, I was on tour. They're like, now on this date, you asked what on tour you would see at this location. Your phone pings you here. They be on the phone running their mouth because they still feel like they're in a trap. Got to show their diamonds when they talk. Yeah, man. Out here in South Florida, baby. Yeah, what's happening, baby? You know, kicking and popping big shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I man, about to go over here, man, handle some business and skirt skirt. You know what I'm saying? Might got to spend a block a couple of times. In the eyes of the law, and what rappers that portray spin the block is, you's committing a drive-by. You spinning the block. You shooting that block up time, 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 time and again. You got ops here. You got ops there. You kick it with Jose the big dog out of Mexico. They know who the fuck Jose is. And Jose ought to be like, look, I don't know this motherfucker. Don't come fucking with me about this motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? So y'all got to understand, people, that you put yourself in a lot of these predicaments, and you're the only one that can bring yourself out of them. Because you're stuck in a motherfucking maze of ignorance. Thinking that it's okay to continue to be a multi-millionaire and still talk about rapping and drugs and killing in the streets. When you stay in a gated fucking community where you go in your gate and lock it with security guard and all, they got to drive up to your door and be let in by a fucking ring bell and you talking about how you got ops. Nigga, you ain't got ops. You are protected by the police and top flight like motherfucking security, nigga. In a gated community where you probably don't even got to take out the trash. Or well, somebody come cutting your grass. You ain't paying a neighborhood cat to cut your grass. The neighborhood boy to wash your car. You got detail shops that pull up in your yard and wash all your cars every day. Even though you don't drive them. This is the type of shit rich niggas do. But they still be caught in a little nigga mind state. But they got big nigga money. The reason why I use the term nigga is because these are what these people associate themselves with. The whole nigga knowledge term. You get what I'm saying? The thing is that we own this word now. This word was given to us. This is what they named us now, bro. This was derogatory. This is what they defiled us with, disrespected us with. I ain't shit cute about owning that. Cats talking about, yeah, man, we own that word now. Shouldn't nobody else say it. Don't nobody have the right to say it but us blacks. No, nigga, you don't neither. Why are we steady calling each other something that these folks have arranged for us and then get mad when it's placed in front of us in a derogatory state for coming out of one of their mouths? Oh, we upset. We outbreak. We ready to tear up, burn down a building. Yeah, you ready to shoot up somebody's mama house. But y'all do this to each other every day. And you ain't never once get mad because that's what you do. And when I look at this game called hip-hop and the ignorance of a lot of these cats, man, I don't understand how can you come from life of poverty and crime and everything you've been through to still want to try to play like you're a part of that when you know you're not. You've been on tour. You had fashion gallows and all this old shit, big dinners, meetings. You ain't even got, the last time you've been home was three months ago because you're so booked up. But every song you put out, 
It's like you still out there on the pavement and you not. You touch the pavement every now and then. Then a lot of y'all can't go back to your hood. You can't even walk in the corner store in your hood without somebody ready to charge you up and add you out. Because of all the people who helped guide you and put you on that path, as soon as you got that money, you turns in your back for your famous rapper friends. You know what I'm saying? That's why so many ops, cats don't understand. A lot of these rappers, a lot of these artists have created these problems in their communities, in their hood, move out and think it's all good. No, it's not. It's still up when you come back, partner. Don't make us have to find out where you at, homie. Yeah, we're going to come to where you at. Oh, you moved to Atlanta now? Say, let's go to Atlanta and go holler at them. Oh, we got the Super Bowl or something coming up. We got the All-Star game. We're going to go down there. We're going to be down there for the game. We're going to bump into them. And then we're going to see what he's talking about. Then all of a sudden, oh, man, you know, I didn't change my life. But your song say you ain't changed your life. You still a street cat. You still about that life. You still a bust something. You still a drop something. You get what I'm saying? You step on something. You're a big stepper. That's what I say, people. You apply this pressure and this energy to your life, and these forms of things are going to happen like a constant reaction because you're placing negative things, vibes, and thoughts in your life. I want happiness, joy, and peace. I want calmness, financial stability, mental stability, spiritual stability. Those are things that I need and want in life to have a home that's secure with love within the home. Even though there's going to be dissension in every home, ain't no perfect home, ain't no perfect husband, perfect wife. It's just about what you could do to make each other better on a daily basis. When you see those perfect couples, guaranteed they're allowed to sleep in different rooms, fucking somebody else on different times. But when they step out in public, they hand in hand, they smile, they're ready for the camera, they're ready for the show they got to put on. You get what I'm saying? Because a lot of people have put so much into each other money-wise that they ain't got time for the divorce. Because, see, we're going to get to talk about who get this, who get that. What we're going to do is keep our business to ourselves, and when it's the proper time, we'll let the people know. But until then... When we out, you're mine, and when we're out, it's vice versa. You get what I'm saying? Ain't no he single, ain't no she single. You better act like we still together, like we just got out the bed making whipping. You get what I'm saying? It's the mind state that you have, people, that controls your vision, controls your thought, and your destiny. And when I see these rappers, they ain't doing them plant seeds of death for themselves. Somebody ought to look around the corner. I got ops out to kill me. They put a body on my head. You started placing this on yourself. When you should be saying, talking about your success in life, what it means to have a beautiful wife and children, your big house. I don't care about nobody rapping about a jury. In Africa, coming from where we come from, it's normal, man, to have pankies, chains, ice, 